Hey, what's up YouTube? Brian Fajoli here. And let's talk about Raspberry Pi for a second. So those little computers are really cool. Uh, when they first came out, people were like, you know, you can do so many cool projects with this little computer. It can run Linux. Um, you know, it uses, it doesn't use a lot of power. It's small, it's tiny, it's fun. It's good for education. And ultimately a lot of us bought these devices for not educational purposes, but for things like running um, media, for like, uh, let's say, streaming uh, video on our computers. We could run something like uh, LibreLec, um, you know, to, to watch movies, to watch, you know, to watch um, TV shows. We also use these for emulation because you can use them for um, playing old games like NES ROMs or Super Nintendo ROMs. Fast forward to 2020, and the Raspberry Pi is so fast now. This is the Raspberry Pi 4 starter kit from uh, Labists. The Raspberry Pi 4 is so powerful that I believe it's the 4 and the 8 gigabyte variants. You can actually run like a full Ubuntu desktop on these um, and, and have them actually be fast enough to serve as a proper desktop. Now... The problem with the Raspberry Pi is it doesn't really come with anything. So you need to add your own micro SD card. You need to add your own case if you want a case and you probably should have a case. If you want proper cooling, you have to add heat sinks and fans and blah, blah, blah. So this company, Labists, or Labists, I should say, um, they came up with a starter kit for the Raspberry Pi 4 that kind of gives you everything you're going to need to get started. So I'm gonna unbox this. We're actually giving this away right now on Beta News. I believe we have three of them that we're giving away. Uh, so I wanted to unbox this to show what the actual prize is, what you're gonna get. Uh, this is not the one that will be sent to a prize winner. They will get brand new in the box, unopened. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open this. And let's check it, check it out and see what's going on with this starter kit. This is a Raspberry Pi 4, eight gigabyte. Uh, so it has eight gigs of RAM on it. That is really impressive. Whoa. So the first thing we see right on top is the box Raspberry Pi 4 computer, the Model B, with 8 gigs of RAM. So this is, you know, just the standard Raspberry Pi you would get. But then further in the box, you're going to get all the additional cool stuff that Labis is putting in. And you're actually getting this, wow, nice, pretty thick book that gives some information. There's a lot of different languages, which makes it a little bit thicker, but it kind of tells you different hardware you're going to need. So it says like micro SD card. Uh, Type-C power adapter. You're going to need a keyboard and mouse. That's not included in this package, obviously. Uh, micro, SD, uh, micro HDMI cable. I think that is in the box. Uh, a case. And it says card reader. I don't know if it comes with a card reader, but let's, let's dig in and see what it comes with. Oh, and the cool thing is it comes with a micro SD card that's pre-formatted with Raspbian, the, the uh, Raspberry Pi operating system, Linux-based operating system. You can install a different operating system if you want. Um, but the card comes pre-formatted and ready to go. So you can pop it in and you're like, you, you, don't, you don't have to even boot up your normal desktop to get this going. You're ready to go right out of the box. So, all right, so let's see what we have here. So this looks like a micro USB-C power adapter. And this looks really cool and I'll show you why. So it's, you know, a standard power brick plugs into the wall and this end is USB type C but it has a on off switch here. So you can actually cut the power. So the Raspberry Pi doesn't have a power on and off. So like you shut it down, it goes into sleep mode, you can unplug it. This essentially turns on the Raspberry Pi on and off. This is, this is cool. This is the nicest adapter. One of the nicest adapters I've ever seen for USB type C for the Raspberry Pi, having the switching power like that. And it's really nice. It actually is branded with the Labist logo. Really, really nice, awesome adapter. 10 out of 10. <laughs> and then we have here, oh, okay, so cool. So we have a micro HDMI to full HDMI cable. So this plugs, this end plugs into the Raspberry Pi and this plugs into your monitor or your television set and you're ready to go with video. So you have power, you have video. What else do we have in the box? Hmm. Is this another? There's two cables. Hmm. If that's intentional or not. So we have two micro HDMI, the full size HDMI. So you could run, I guess, dual monitors. 
Um, I'm not sure if the raspberry, let's just open the raspberry pie. Does it have dual? Hmm, that's interesting. So I was gonna open the, uh, the raspberry pie itself last, let's see. So yes, it does have dual a micro HDMI, so you can run dual monitors. I'm surprised they give you two cables in the box. That's really cool, actually. You know, only one is needed to really get started, and this is a starter kit, but the fact that they throw in two HDMI cables for this is, is really impressive. And I guess while we have this out of the box, we'll take a look. So the Raspberry Pi itself, we have here uh, the USB Type-C for power, two of the, the micro HDMI for video, we have a audio out, which, um, not audio, I believe it's audio visual out. I think you can hook up like one of those dongles that like old camcorders have where you can output like RCA video. Um, but I believe it does just standard audio as well. Then we have two USB type, uh, four USB type A ports, two of which are USB 2.0, two of which are 3.0, and then we have gigabit ethernet. And then we have these GPIO pins that people use for like different projects, for connecting things, and that's more for tinkerers, not people who are gonna use this as like a desktop or um, a media device. What else is on here? Uh, on the bottom here, if you turn this over, this is where the micro SD card will go. And don't hate on me, I'm just gonna stick this on a plastic bag. Uh, Raspberry Pi, this is the normal booklet you would get. Um, a little card that shows what not to do with the pie, I guess. Okay. Put that to the side. So, so far we have the Raspberry Pi itself, two HDMI cables, and a really nice um, micro, I'm sorry, I keep saying micro, not really nice USB Type-C power adapter. Next up in the box we have the case, and this is a really nice case. If I can get the bag open here. This is a really nice case because for one, it just looks really nice. It's really nice, the red and the white. It has all the cutouts that you would need. But if you see here, there's lots of space for cooling. And I'm gonna peel this top off, this plastic. This is there, I guess, not to um, scratch the top plastic here. Um, but there's fans that come with this. Um, so for cooling purposes, you have plenty of cutouts for, for air movement. There's the micro SD card slot there. So everything is labeled and nice. You have the aux out. Everything is, that's really, really cool. Nice, nice case. Next up we have a 32 gigabyte SanDisk micro SD card, which has the Raspbian already on it. I think that's a, I think that's a typo. I think it's Raspbian, I-A-N, not A-I-N. Um, but anyway, you have Raspbian OS preloaded on this. So you plug this into your Raspberry Pi, power it up, and you're instantly ready to go. So you have your storage now. We then have, this is the cool fan that goes onto the top of the Pi, like so. And it has this really nice cold heat sink that's gonna cool the chips, and then these fans are gonna pull the air away through the top, it's gonna to pull the hot air away. So it's gonna add a little bit of noise, so it's not. No, it's no longer a silent little Raspberry Pi, but it will give you um, better uh, better thermals, better better uh, airflow, it's gonna you know, give, give you better cooling, and potentially, I think you can uh, overclock these guys, uh, so potentially better overclocking capability with that as well. And the holes line up here, so you can just kind of screw that down. I'm guessing there's like thermal pads or something in here. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like there's some thermal pads here for um, putting it. You'd put on this first. You don't want to just have metal on the chip. So you have some thermal pads for the chips. Nice. We next have some screws. These look like like what you would have like on a motherboard, like motherboard header screws, like it plugs into the, oh, the for the case and then the motherboard plugs into this. So I don't know how these go on. I haven't read the instructions, but this is for you know mounting into the case, of course. We then have a screwdriver. This is nice. So it comes with a screwdriver for screwing everything together. That's really nice touch. Although I don't think I've seen screws in here, have I? Other than these, let's see. Oh, and then we have a, how does this work? Oh, wow. Look at this. So this is a USB Type-C 
N type A, it looks like both, micro SD card reader on like a little keychain. That's really nice. So you can actually read the contents of that micro SD card if you want to format it and put a different operating system on it or something. It comes with the card reader as well. That's really neat. That's really cool. So that's everything that's inside the box. So I just want to go through this again. So you're getting this beautiful heat sink and fan. You're getting two HDMI cables for dual video if you need that. You're getting a preloaded Raspbian OS uh, micro SD card, 32 gigabytes from SanDisk. You're getting the screwdriver. You're getting the type C uh, and type A. It's a dual reader, dual type reader for the micro SD card. You're getting this case. Oh, and, all right, I was wondering where the, the screws were. The screws are inside the case. So I don't know if this pops up. I don't wanna break anything. I haven't read any instructions yet, so I'm not gonna pull it off. But the screws that I was wondering where they are, they're actually inside of the case there. I think you can see them in there, right there towards the bottom. So there are screws in there that the screwdriver would go to. You have these like little header screws. You have thermal pads. And this, which I'm most impressed with, this beautiful USB type C AC adapter that has this on off. That's really cool. Cause that's one of the problems with the Raspberry Pi is there's no power on and off button. Um, you could always just pull out the power adapter on it, but that's kind of cheesy. Like, you know, not to mention if you want to have this like just kind of shoved somewhere away like behind your monitor or something. Now you can just turn it on, turn it off, and maybe have this more near, you know, have this near where you are. So there's lots of different options here, but this is a beautiful starter kit. And again, I'm gonna say, this is one of the nicest starter kits I've seen. It literally has everything you could possibly need, even going an extra step and including an extra HDMI cable, uh, which isn't really a part of a starter kit, um, you know, it's kind of an extra, so that's really nice. This is this is probably the nicest starter kit that I've seen. So it makes me really proud that we're giving three of these away on Beta News, uh, and it's like a worldwide giveaway. It's uh, if you click on the terms and conditions, you can see the countries that are included. So it's not it's not the entire world, but it's not limited to the United States. So there's like a bunch of different countries that can get in on this. Uh, so if you go to our website betanews.com, I think we have it featured at the top of the site. You can you know. Follow Labists on Facebook and get entered, and there's other ways to uh, improve your odds as well. Uh, but this is this is absolutely one of the nicest starter kits I've ever seen. And like I said, the Raspberry Pi 4, this can actually serve as a proper desktop. So like you can have a full desktop computer in this little box here, in this little case, and run Linux on it as a proper desktop. All right, folks, thank you so much for watching the video. If you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much and have a great day.